welcome to my channel I know it's been a while just in case you're new here my name is princess and today I'm gonna be showing you guys how to get this very simple straight to the point nice refreshed beat for work well it's not really a beat but you know my little um, everyday morning makeup routine this makeup routine is great for moms who are on the go um, for those days you just need to get up look well put together and be out the door so this makeup on an average day takes me about 10 to 15 minutes to do not including my brows okay so just the face okay so if you guys have any questions please leave them in the comment section below i'll have everything that i use all the details all the products that i use in the description box below um if you have not subscribed to this channel please subscribe Go ahead, boo boo. Click that big sexy red subscribe button. Turn on your notification bell so that whenever I do upload videos, you'll be notified and you won't miss a video from me. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this hair makeup tutorial. Alright guys, so I'm coming to you with a fresh face that has been moisturized and I already have my eyebrows done. Of course, we got to start off with a sip of coffee to wake us up. And we're gonna go right on in with some primer today I'm gonna be using this primer that I received as a complimentary gift from Octoly and Guerlain this is their lore um, radiance concentrate with pure gold um, and it's their makeup base it's a hydrating primer and I'm using this because my skin is extremely dry um, the winter just seems to suck all the moisture out of my skin and I have found that this primer is really hydrating and it keeps my skin nice and plump throughout the day so I'm just pressing that into my skin and then we're gonna move on to foundation I'll be using the Smashbox Studio Skin Foundation. I have mine in the shade 3.35. Check the description box for all of my foundation references. And I'm actually just going to apply a very thin layer of this foundation. It can be built up to full coverage, but I don't typically go for full coverage every day. I just wanna even out my skin tone and just create a nice clean slate for the rest of my makeup. Um, this this foundation is really one of my favorites It's definitely turned into one of my holy grail foundations it is long wearing sweat resistant water resistant it's hydrating without being oily and um, yeah it's a great foundation so we're gonna cover up those mommy bags up under my eyes because your girl gets no sleep I'm using the born this way sculpting foundation um, I love this foundation because it has a lot of coverage and it is also um, not too matte and it's long lasting as well. I'm using an Eco Tools, yep, Eco Tools sponge and I am using this stamp and I'm just blending that concealer out on my forehead, under my eyes, and on my nose. Um, and as you can see, this is not an extreme highlight. It's just to brighten up the areas on my face to make me look more awake. <laughs> And as you can see, this concealer has really good coverage. I literally only use a tiny bit. And under my eyes, it's just giving me so much brightness and so much lift. And it's covering up, you know, those mommy bags really, really nicely. And I like this sponge too. This sponge is really good. It's become one of my favorites. I'm using it more than my Real Technique sponge. And we take a coffee break, get right back into it using the Sasha Buttercup Light powder to set my concealer under my eyes the bridge of my nose on my forehead and then I'm also going to use it around my mouth now I'm not baking and I do not bake because I have dry skin especially in the winter so I'm just taking it and pressing it into my skin and right here what you see me doing is blending out that concealer under my eyes again because it started to crease a little bit and then I'm going back with that sponge and that powder. If you set your concealer with the creases, you set your creases in. So you want to make sure that before you set your concealer with your powder, that you uh, blend out any creasing that may have happened while you were waiting. 
And so again, I'm just pressing that powder into my skin. I'm gonna go in now with the black opal translucent setting powder in medium and I'm using that to lightly set the rest of my face and to go over the places where I put that Sasha Buttercup powder just to take away any um, light cast on my face so yep just lightly setting with a fluffy brush all over and then after that we're gonna go on with one of my um, Holy Grail products as well. It's a L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Powder in the shade Coco. I use this as a bronzer. I really like the color of it. I feel like it does a great job at just um, bringing back some definition to my face. And I'm using a fluffy brush and I'm putting it in the hollows of my cheeks around my hairline. And then I also drag some across my jawline. And again, this is just to warm up my face, bring back some dimension, just use a fluffy brush. You don't have to be super precise with this. It's super easy to do, so don't be intimidated by doing some light bronzing and light contouring. Next, I'm going in with this pretty vulgar, uh, I can't even talk right, y'all, this pretty vulgar blush. I really do like this blush. It's a nice everyday tone. I can't remember the color. Yes, I do. It's called um, Make Them Blush. And now what I'm going to do is take that same brush that I used to bronze my face, pinching it, and I'm running it down the sides of my nose. And then I'm gonna take it into the creases of my eyelids just to add some color into my eyelids and to lightly contour my eyelids and my nose. And I just used whatever product was left on the brush. I didn't add anything there, anything else there, just using what's left. Next, I'm using this Black Up Sublime Powder. I think this is in the shade four and a real technique setting brush um, to highlight the high points of my cheeks and my brow bone this is a really really subtle highlight it doesn't you know give you a lot of poppingness but it does give you a really nice subtle natural glow which is perfect for work i really do love this powder um i also wear it without makeup as well like i'll just moisturize my face spray some setting spray after it dries i'll go over the high points of my face just to give me some uh, natural glow on my no makeup days when i'm just not wearing any makeup at all Now after we get all of our products on, we need to set our makeup. This is hands down one of my favorite finishing sprays. This is by Pixi. It's the Vitamin Makeup Mist. Y'all, this stuff is the bomb. I've gone through like three bottles. Um, you can get this from Target. It is one of my holy grail everyday products. I use it with and without makeup. It's, it's so perfect, especially if you have dry skin. Um, and what you just saw me do is add a little bit of black eyeliner in my waterline just on the outer third of my eyes and I'm going in with some mascara. I add about three coats of mascara just to bring some definition to my eyes. We're not doing any eyeshadow, just keeping it super simple, super easy because we got to get out of the house really quickly this morning. So just giving myself a check, bam! Got my wig and my work clothes on, and all I need to do is finish up with my lips. I'm gonna be using my favorite lip combo at the moment. This is the Coco Loco Lip Liner by Jordana, a charming lip uh, lip gloss by Milani, and just a clear lip gloss from Black Radiance. I'm gonna line my lips, rub them together to kind of blend out that color, add my lip gloss, and I'm gonna put some clear lip gloss right in the center of my lips and work it in just for some shine. And here we are. All right guys, so here is the final look i hope you guys found this uh, makeup tutorial simple and easy to follow i tried to keep everything easy peasy i use very few products just kept it super simple um so hopefully you guys like this um check out my vlog channel y'all i'm vlogging vlogmas is in full effect over there if you are not aware that i have a vlog channel since i do it's iron princess tv so go ahead and 
click that link in the description box i'll leave that there for you check out my youtube over there or check out my vlog channel over there i love to have you join my vlog family as well and yeah i think that's it guys thank you so much for watching until next time i'll see you guys in my next tutorial i love you all so much be blessed oh and remember you're perfectly imperfect love all of you because god does and so do i y'all have a great day